Hey my good friends, Sam Haymart for Test Driven TV. Today on a very special episode of Under the Hood, we've got the all new 2017 Ford F-Series Super Duty with a 6.7 liter Power Stroke diesel full underhood tour coming right up. The first in-house designed and built V8 diesel engine from Ford, the 6.7 liter Power Stroke has been with us now for several years. In the 2017 F-Series Super Duty trucks, however, it's now in its third evolution. Your first look into the engine bay tells you this thing is complex, and it is. As large as the truck is, the engine and all of its components are an extremely tight fit. Each and every piece and part is carefully tucked in. Starting with the airflow, the intake air comes in through a snorkel just above the grill on the passenger side. It goes down under the battery into a large air filter box just ahead of that passenger. From there, it heads into a pre-intake manifold and into the turbocharger buried deep in the engine's valley. The hot V design places the exhaust outlets on top of the heads feeding into a new single sequential turbocharger mounted on top of the engine and between them. This shortens the distance and reduces the ducting for less turbo lag and improved thermal efficiency. From there, the intake charge heads over to an air to water intercooler mounted ahead of the driver's side before heading back to a complex intake system of the engine. There, it flows into a composite intake manifold that feeds the cylinders through intake passages cast into the top covers of the heads. Stepping back a little, a portion of the exhaust is routed through a large cooler on the passenger side of the engine and routed back into the intake charge. This cool DGR system contributes to cleaner emissions and again, better thermal efficiency. The engine itself features a compacted graphite iron block and aluminum heads. This makes it significantly lighter, though it is still quite heavy in the neighborhood of a thousand pounds. In this application, the 6.7 liter power stroke engine produces 440 horsepower at 2800 RPM. It also has 925 pound-feet of torque at 1800 RPM. Looking around the engine bay, the major service points are easy enough to find. The main fuse block is against the passenger side firewall, the air filter box just ahead of it. A gauge is provided to give you a quick look to check the filter's condition. There are two batteries, one on each side up front. Windshield washer fluid is right up at front next to the power steering reservoir. Further up close to the driver's side firewall is the main coolant reservoir. Behind that, the brake fluid reservoir. Checking the engine oil and the transmission fluid is done right up on top of the back of the engine. The oil fill cap is there too. You might need a step stool to get to it all. Stepping back for a more sweeping view, you can also see the secondary coolant reservoir for the intercooling system mounted up front on the passenger side near the fan shroud. 